Hey, what's up? John McMillan, Sea Store Secrets. Haven't done a video in a long time. Been doing a lot of thinking and uh, trying to have some great ideas and revelations on ways that I can help Sea Store owners further. I'm not really having the success uh, in working with Sea Store owners that I want to, uh, mostly because I feel like my message isn't right. I haven't found the right way to reach out to all you Sea Store owners out there. Um, but I want to I want to talk about one thing specifically in this video, and there are really only two reasons why any one particular customer out there in the marketplace absolutely has to visit your store, and there's no other way around it. If two of these things happen, uh, especially you know given that you're located on a main highway. These are the only reasons they're going to come to your business. And there's no if, ands, or buts about it. Outside of these two things, for the most part, you have everything else within your business that they can get somewhere else but these two things. The first thing is gas. Let's just be honest. I would say an overwhelmingly high percentage of folks coming in and out of your C-Store are getting gas. You are a gas station, a convenience store, and that's why they're stopping. That's the only reason a lot of people are stopping. I know as I travel, and I do a lot of traveling, that's one of the number one reasons I stop. It's time to get gas. There's, you gotta have gas. You got to have gas. It is a necessity. You cannot drive past not a single gas station if you're on empty, your light's on, and your car is saying, hey, I'm gonna run out of fuel. You can't. You have to stop in the next one, no matter what. No matter how clean it is, no matter how dirty it is, no matter who the owner is, no matter what brand gas it is, when you have to have gas, you have to have gas. So that's the first reason why people have to stop at your store. The second reason is the restrooms. Now. I know that's gonna come as a shock to a lot of you guys. You probably were thinking, you know, cigarettes and tobacco. You were probably thinking something to eat, right? There's probably a lot of things that you can think of, but when you've got to go to the bathroom, you've got to go. There's no waiting. There's no putting it off, especially as people get older. You know, females who have had kids, sometimes, you know, their ability to hold their, their urine, their bladder, uh, it, it just, it, it's not as strong anymore. and so. They gotta go when they gotta go, and they gotta go right that moment. Uh, you know, with men, same thing a lot of times. I'll hold it a lot. You know, I kinda gotta pee right now, but I'm gonna hold it until I get up the interstate a little bit to, to a store that I'll, I wanna stop at. And, but, once I have to go, I, the next exit on the interstate, it doesn't matter where it's at, it doesn't matter what it is, I get off that exit and I go, because I have to go, I cannot wait. And so those are the only two things, literally, that when they occur, you have no choice, you have to stop. That's it. I can't think of anything else. If you're thirsty, you can wait. There ain't a person in the, in the United States of America that is so thirsty, they can't wait another 30 minutes or an hour. Nobody that's gonna spend money in your C-Store can't wait if they're hungry or thirsty, or even if they need some kind of nicotine or cigarette tobacco. They can wait. They can push on to the next door, and they will. They'll price shop you, as a matter of fact. If you don't have the right price, they're gonna wait and go down the road and get the price that they want. So, my point to this is, is that as you evolve and as you wanna grow and grow your sales as a convenience store owner, you have to focus on customer needs, all right? Now, with branded gas, a lot of times, there's not a lot you can do about it. Maybe in an area, you only have a specific vendor you can deal with, um, whatever. So the gas, you have a little less control over, but you do have control. But the restrooms, you have 100% control over the experience that your customers are going to have in your restrooms. And I don't know how many different ways I can talk about the restrooms within a convenience store, but they're, they're vitally important. I'm gonna say there's only about five or 10% of the convenience stores in the United States of America that it's not important. They're in a bad area, um, they're in a low income area, 
people that are using their restroom aren't using it for convenience. Well, I guess technically it is convenience of either destroying it or taking drugs in it. Um, that's the convenience that they're looking for. But the other 90% of convenience stores in the entire United States of America, your restrooms are important. I just came off of a vacation with my family and uh, my wife, we were, we were in North Carolina uh, traveling on uh, uh, I-26 maybe. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember, one of the interstates coming through toward Asheville. Uh, we hadn't got to I-40 just yet. And she had looked up on GPS and said, hey, there's two restrooms. Uh, there's a, like a BP and a Sitco or something. She goes, which one of those do you think we should stop at? I've got to stop at the next exit. And I said, well, what else is there? And I saw a sign for a rest area. I was like, well, what about the rest area? She said, well, normally rest areas aren't that clean. We came up to the rest area. It was the first place we got to. And I said, hey, you might want to stop. Pull off. She goes in. She comes out. Hey, good decision. Um, the restrooms were pretty clean. It was good. I guess she's had some bad experiences with rest areas in the past. So as we go up the interstate, that VP and sit go that she had said she might want to stop at she looks over at both of them as we go down the road and she says you made the right choice the rest area was definitely cleaner than those C stores so these are two stores that are right off the interstate that my wife was able to say by looking at the outside of these C stores she's glad she didn't stop there This is, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I do what I do with C-Store Secrets is helping you guys understand that the more things that you can take care of within the C-Store Secrets book, the more things you can master, the more likely you are to attract more and more customers so that you can make more money and live the life that it is you want to live as a business owner and be as busy as you want to be. But until you take care of these fundamental principles of a C-Store, specifically the restroom, until you take care of those things, you're never going to get there. Because as, as much as some of you want to fight me on this being the absolute most important thing, these restrooms, as much as you want to fight me, if you poll your customers, if you poll and talk to everybody going up and down the interstate, what you're going to see is that those restrooms are more important than almost anything. And they'll remember you by it. They'll remember bad stops versus good stops. They'll remember bad brands versus good brands. And to be quite honest with you, if I worked for Shell, or if I worked for Marathon, or if I worked for, you know, Valero, or Sitgo, or Amico, or, or any fuel company, you know, one thing that I would require within my contract, if I'm going to have you as a brand, is I would require that you take care of your restrooms. You know, working for PFS Brands, you know, it's something that we have to look at. When we are qualifying accounts to be on our program, how you handle your restrooms, how you handle your kitchen, how you handle your store, tells us how you're going to handle food service. It's, it, it's evident. You either are going to take care of things and or you are not and it's clearly visible in the shape that your store is in when we visit now it's not to say that you know we don't partner with people and help them and guide them through the process because there are people out there that just want help help me make more money help me sell more food help me grow my business that's what PFS brands does that's what we do that's why I created C store secrets I want every single C store along every single major highway to be an attractor of any customer that you want. That's what I want for you. So not to keep this video and not to make it too long, but just remember there are only two reasons that any customer has to. And when I say has to, I mean they have no choice, but they have to stop. They have to. And that's when they need gas. And that's when they got to go to the restroom. And guess what? The urge is starting to hit me really bad right now. I have to go and just got off the interstate. So what does that mean? The first convenience store that I hit, I'm going to. Now, with that being said, there's about two or three over here at this exit. And I kind of have a good idea 
of which restroom I'd be willing to visit. And I can assure you, I'm going to that store and they'll get my business. So just wanted to share this thought with you guys. Glad to be back here. Glad to be back sharing with you guys. And uh, the, the message is not going to change. You got to take care of these fundamentals. If you are looking to get a copy of C-Store Secrets book right now, uh, I am uh, mailing those out. But you, in order to pay, I'm, I'm using Venmo and PayPal. So if you do want a book, please reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. And uh, I'll get some address information from you. And I will take your payment through PayPal or Venmo. So as always, have a nice day. Have a successful day. Have a profitable day. Go check your restrooms.